A sprint retrospective is the last meeting in every sprint. So if you, are, if you have a 15 day, 2 week sprint or 3 week sprint or a monthly sprint, at the end of that sprint, once you are done with your stories, you have demoed the stories, your product owner, then you, uh, the scrum master will schedule this sprint retrospective meeting wherein no managers will be there, no management, no product owner, it's just the scrum master and the team. It will be the developers and the testers and UI people depending on the teams you have. You all meet up and we'll discuss three things. What went well that sprint, what didn't go well, and then the insights for the future. Typically, it could be an Excel sheet or there are tools that are available out there which can be used to capture this information. The Scrum Master is going to start with what went well and he's going to give a chance to each team member wherein the team member can tell him what went well. Then he will move on to what didn't go well that sprint. And from this, we can derive from both of them, actually, we can derive a lot of insights for the future sprints. That's the power of Agile methodologies and Scrum, wherein you can learn from short iterations and keep improving as you progress instead of waiting for, the, for an year or six months. So, for example, if you have faced any issues, either it could be something to do with the technology or functionality, you can bring them up here. This is the place where you can express yourself, all your frustrations and everything, so that going forward, they'll be addressed appropriately and quick action can be taken. To quickly summarize, a sprint retrospective happens at the end of the sprint. This is where you learn or you we all uh, meet as a team along with the Scrum Master and discuss what went well, what didn't go well, and then the insights for improving things in the next sprints. And usually the Scrum Master prepares a uh, Excel sheet or he, he, keeps a, he keeps track of all these we discussed so that in the next sprint planning, in the next sprint planning as well the retrospective meetings, we can bring this up and see if what didn't go well in the previous sprint has improved in the next sprint. So at some point we don't want to see the what didn't go well part keep repeating in the successive sprints. So that's the main advantage of having these sprint retrospective meetings.